Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to take a look at a performance by Metallica doing an Elton John song. This happened during the Gershwin Prize ceremony that happened in D.C. on April 8th, the same day as the solar eclipse. This here is Elton John and Bernie Toppin being celebrated for being excellent songwriters. They're winning the Gershwin Prize, which is something... Uh, I think Stevie Wonder has won it. You know, people like, you know, in the higher echelon of, uh, of writing pop music. I mean, and they certainly deserve it. I mean, I've always been an Elton fan. Adrian, I assume you've been something of a fan, or at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, he was, uh, when I was a little kid, he was one of my first idols. It was Elton John and the Beatles. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think I can say the same. <laughs> Good stuff. And this particular song set is Funeral for a Friend, Love Lies Bleeding, which is how the Goodbye Yellow Brick Road album started. That was 1973. And I think the first time we had a record in the house of Elton John, it might have been the Goodbye Yellow Brick Road single, or it might have been the greatest hits that came out the next year. But right after that, we got this record. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have been familiar with this record for half a century. Oh, my goodness. But we'll put that aside, and we'll just go ahead and see the performance right now.
Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be one of my favorite Elton songs. And you hear Metallica do it. They just killed it. Yeah, yeah. They did a real nice job on that arrangement. They did. Excellent job on that, guys. No question. Yeah, I've always liked that one, too. And now, for those who don't know it, there's a whole creepy beginning on, on organ and, and uh, synth, ARP synthesizer. <laughs> That yeah. you don't hear there, where you can almost feel the fog, and you you know going through the uh, the you know nighttime at, at the cemetery or something. You know, <laughs> it's like yeah, and there's a creepy. little uh, synthesizer bit that comes in before it, but yeah, I mean, skip that. But they still did a great job. <laughs> I'm not saying there's a problem with taking that out, but that's how it starts, and then after that, it's like you're walking out of the cemetery down the road, you know, that's where the piano is doing its quiet thing. And then it comes in a little bit louder, does a thing and you kind of, it's like you're approaching the city. And then when they came in, it's kind of when you've hit the city and you're like, (laughs) you're in a new mood, you know? Oh Um, man. Yeah. So um, awesome. What they did. Yeah. Yeah. Very imaginative. Very good job. Looked like Elton and Bernie were both very much into it. And why wouldn't they be? It was pretty good. (laughs) So, I guess that's the only part I missed was the beginning. And also, there's a thing, I guess I would call it wood blocks, but it's probably something else. You know, oh, 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 yeah. It's the, yeah, the little yeah. clackety <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the clackities that you wear on your, your, your hands. You go, you know, and, uh, and it sounds like, I don't know. It's skill to do that. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. They're, they're doing it their way. Yeah. And it worked. You know, you didn't, it, that part wasn't actually necessary to, to telling the story necessarily, but, uh, but they told, they did a good job there. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was great seeing Elton and Bernie getting the accolades, and they clearly enjoyed watching Metallica do this. So now we've seen Metallica for the first time, and I think that's also the first time we've featured an Elton John song on here. And so, good. Those are both two things that need to start showing up a little more. There are a couple of Elton tracks that I wouldn't mind bringing in that I think do count as rock and roll, (laughs) or at least progressive rock or something, you know. So um, we'll expect that, and yeah, maybe at some point we'll bring in some Metallica too. In the meantime, folks, if you have suggestions for us for either Metallica or Elton John, or really anybody else, just leave them below and we'll take a look. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.